So hey guys, today we're going to uh, install Gemma 3. It's a very capable model and it can run on a single GPU, which is pretty impressive. Uh, its 4B model can also run in a GPU with just 4 GB VRAM. I mean, it can run in your local system and that's what we're going to do here today. We're going to locally install this uh, using Olama. So you can go to olama.com and download uh, the model. So after downloading it, you just have to open it. So after you open it, it'll start running in your background like this. You will, you won't, you won't see any kind of interface. It'll just start running in your background. So once you run it in your background, what you have to do is go and search for Gemma free. And, uh, this is what will come up. So as I've told you, there are a lot of parameters in this model. There's one B, which can also run on your phone. If your phone is good enough, then four B model, which can run on most of the systems. Two B model is a bit more a uh, capable model which can run if you have a higher VRAM. 27B model is also a really good model which is comparable to DeepSeek R1 but uh, it cannot be run on a uh, consumer system is what I think but if you have an H100 go for it. Uh, so what you have to do is you just have to uh, select 4B from here and uh, copy this Olamar and Gemma 3 then open your CMD command prompt and just paste it. Then what will happen? It will start pulling your model inside this. So uh, I've already installed the uh, Gemma 3 model. So as you can see, it's already running in my command prompt. You can see how fast is it. Even on my consumer system, it's running pretty fast. But uh, what we have to do is an interface. So for that, I'm using Open Web UI. Uh, so this is Open Web UI. Uh, if you want to access this, you just have to go type go to its repo. So to download this, I'll be using Docker. Uh, so for that, you also have to download Docker desktop. Uh, trust me, once you have Docker, uh, download a lot of open source software are going to be easy. So I'll, uh, I'll recommend you to download Docker desktop. So you just have to download it from here. I've already downloaded it. Uh, so after downloading Docker, you have, you'll have to open Docker. Make sure that Docker and Olama both are running in the background for this. You have to open this GitHub repo and you have to search where the Docker is. There will be a Docker column here, which you have to uh, go to. For example, this one. See, quick start with Docker. You can run this. By copying this, you can just paste it in your CMD and start running it. But I have an NVIDIA card, so I'll be using the one with NVIDIA GPU support. So I'll copy this. I'll go to my CMD. And I'll paste this. For you, it will start downloading. So you'll have to wait. So after installing uh, Open Web UI using the command prompt, uh, after all the downloads are over, what do you have to do is you have to open Docker Desktop. So after going to images, you'll be seeing that the, uh, you'll have this new uh, image here that is Open Web. And uh, you, you just have to run this. Then after running, come to containers. Uh, you may already have this installed. You just have to open this. Now, as you can see, this is open web UI open in my local system. So you just have to get started. So I've created an admin account now. Uh, so with this password, you can log into your uh, local system all the time. So as you can see, Gemma 3 is already here. Uh, it's automatically coming here, which is very convenient. And uh, as you can see, Gemma 3 has been installed in my local system. I'll give it a hello. So here it is. I have a reply from the uh, Gemma model. So what I'll do is uh, I'll just give it an image prompt because it's a multi-model AI. And so this is a thumbnail of my last video. I'll, I'll just ask it, what is it? Like, what do you see here? And actually understand what it is. It, it gave me, I mean, it did a OCR stuff that it uh, got the worst no god install and all that. And it uh, the N18 symbol it didn't understand it very much. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it is pretty impressive to run a multi-model AI in your local system. So if you like this video, I'll keep posting stuff like this, like a lot of AI stuff. Uh, so you can subscribe and, you know, stay updated.